Hey guys, back on the video today, we we're talking about the Xerite bow and how it's going to be introduced to the market and how it's going to affect it, in my opinion. So I'm just going to give you a rundown of what we all already know, but the Xerite bow, apparently, which is, you know, coming from the next update, it's going to have a 9 tile range, 100 ranged attack, plus 10 range strength, and a 4 attack rate. Just to give you a rundown how it's going to compare to all the other bows. Your bow of Ferrandinhinen, I'm just going to say the bow of F, it's the one that you get from the gauntlet. It has a ranged attack bonus of 128, it requires level 75. It has the highest range bonus of any ranged weapon, including a 106 range strength bonus. And then it increases in its accuracy bonuses and damage bonuses if you wear crystal armor. So I've been seeing some people utilizing this whole setup in order to get the inferno cape i currently don't have mine myself so that's a big reason why i wanted to talk about this i feel like that's a big in-game piece that we have all been dreaming about our entire lives um moving on so it has the furthest attack range of any bow or crossbow of 10 squares which is pretty insane um to the twisted bow which is more used on the inferno than i've seen than the majority of them mostly because of the fact that it can use dragon arrows as well as the monster that you're fighting the higher magic defense that it has the higher accuracy and damage that the bow can do so with zuck the final boss i believe his magic defense is 150 so that's why the twisted bow is so much more accurate but then again, though, the Bow of F has a higher range strength as well as attack bonus. So that's the reason why I've been seeing, you know, kind of switching with those. So moving to how I think the Zerite Bow will interact with this is that the fact that he can kind of act like Black Chicken Chomp is in the way of attacking multiple monsters. So being able to possibly splash monsters that are, you know, in the Inferno so you can kind of switch between the two bows and you can actually utilize it kind of like a crystal bow in the sense that it can not use any of your dragon arrows by utilizing the right armor i believe or like van braces or chaps there'll be you know further updates on that i'm assuming so in this way the Zerite bow is going to be really handy in the inferno as well as for increasing your level over time just like black Tomb chomp is and it has a higher ranged attack because black Tomb chomp is plus 80 and the right bow is plus 100 like i said earlier so in the sense of using it for the inferno that's one reason why i'm kind of confused about the twisted bow the twisted bow is currently sitting at like 100 800 and 17 mil and i mean unless it's just me please leave a comment maybe i'm completely wrong but, I mean, you, you mostly utilize it for Zuck. You use it for the Inferno, so you can. it's a lot faster of a kill. And I guess it's still better than the Bow of F. But my thing is, is a Twisted Bow that much better if people are still able to kill the Inferno with the Bow of F? Um, so then the Zerite Bow jumping into this is then, are these, price, these bows going to go down in price? I mean, that's what I'm expecting. I mean, obviously, first, because the next and the rates that are going to come out, the market right now, as we all saw, it dropped just a little bit, just like when something happens in the real market. Uh, they, they dip to a little bit, and then it you know recovers, and if anything, it surges for a little bit when new people come out and they start playing these new bosses, because, you know, right now, usually you get a lull where people get bored, and then they start getting hype. You know, Jagus releases some news, prices go back up. We've seen it with the Dragon Hunter Crossbow, one of my other videos where I was just like, hey guys, next and all these raids information just came out. People are getting excited. Price is going to bump. I bought mine for 70 mil, sold it for 75 mil, and then with the GE tracker that I utilize, the actively sold price jumped up to about 79 to 80 mil, and then it popped back down to about 65 mil. It's still recovering. You're looking around 73 mil, and maybe it's a bag tracker for the market. But that's what I utilize to uh, gauge, you know, kind of how the market's doing, as well as the enhanced crystal teleport seeds. Enhanced crystal tele teleport seeds drop to about, I think, 1.8 ish mil. And then they, they're somewhat recovering. They're about 2 mil. So there feels like there's kind of a lull in the market. Um, but getting back to how I think the right bow is going to affect the market is I want to see, I want to feel like the Twisted Bow and the Bow of F are going to increase and then maybe ease off a little lower than what they were just because.
because you know the boat of the market that means it's the other boats are going to be utilized a little bit less, so it's going to be less demand, and there's, you know, the supply is not really going to change, other than the fact possibly that people are going to start doing the different rates three. But then again, though, that's just meaning that there actually may be less people supplying this just because not as many people are doing all in rate different rates, you know. So if you don't mind, leave a comment, leave your opinion on this. If I said anything wrong, please correct me. I really love, um, you know, good criticism, uh, good conversations to start going. And maybe I can learn something for y'all. If you don't mind subscribing, because I just love being able to talk with all uh, fellow RuneScapers, because, you know, at the end of the day, if we don't work together, then we're never going to accomplish anything. We're never going to be able to <laughs> actually know what the heck's going to go on with next. I mean, because at the end of the day, we're all watching each other's videos so that we can get through the next battle. So thank you so much, and I really hope you enjoyed.